I'm, I'm playing on Friday, uh, on Saturday, with Platoon on stream. Oh, that's so nice. No, no, it's fine, but could do it on Tuesday, but no, no, Friday, it's fine. I'll play, I'll play the dwarf. On his, on his D&D campaign. Uh, it's oh, gonna be a uh, season session zero for a one shot. It's gonna be two sessions. Um, first one is Saturday. So, but he's going to make like a, a one shot or something? Like. Okay. So, a real one shot, it'll, it's gonna last all day. <laughs> supposed to be a real one shot. I don't know how long it's gonna be. But, uh. Yeah. Campaign! <laughs> no, it's a one shot! <laughs> it, might ev it might evolve in the campaign, I don't know. Could be. Alright. Let's boogie! It's gonna be in French, though. I, I don't know how it's gonna go. In French? French That's is it. weird. Who does that? <laughs> Like, I have not done small talk or like casual talk in French in such a long time. But, like, I feel like I'm gonna be searching for my words. Like, mm -hmm. I would be in English like two years ago. Yeah. Like me speaking in English or in French. It's the same. <laughs> right. Alright. So, are you ready? Let's check into it last we left off um you guys it was the aftermath uh, of the battle against uh, yarno um to learn most of what uh, happened uh from toblin after he reached you guys uh even though he, he got shot in the knee by tamara <laughs> um you learned that uh he was probably sh charmed by yarno uh, that Sildar, uh, Peter, and Sister Gael were captured, and that Aliena was probably like uh, meddling with uh, the villain. So af after finding everyone, um, he took some rest and uh, bed down for the night. And the, the day after, you went to gather and really like uh, address the, pro the problem at the root for the town, which is like, the town is defenseless, so you want to find a more uh, permanent solution. So you gathered weapons, uh, you discuss like hire, hiring a militia with Sodor, um, and also like give, give uh, some training to whoever can until like they get the real, the real thing. Um, so while you guys were doing that, Sodor, uh make the world the world go uh, around the town that there was going to be a town hall to uh discuss those matters um so after your your dinner you started like hearing the town gathering um the energy rises in the town while everyone is kind of wondering uh what will transpire so um you it, it, so it, it's the beginning of the in evening right now. So you guys are, uh, uh, you got out of the inn and you are in the town center. Uh, everyone is gathered. You see a uh, stand in the middle um, and Sildar like making time for you guys to uh, come on the platform with him. Currently on the platform, there's uh, Aliana, that seems to be fine, and uh, Toblin, along with Sondor. It's a, it's a very makeshift uh, platform, and it's just so that they have a bit of height, and uh, their voice is a little bit farther for, on the town to hear. Well, I'll, I'll go on the platform. You guys make uh, your way on the platform. 
Uh, so, uh, Harbin. Did I say Toblin or Harbin? You said Toblin. I meant Har Harbin. So the, the town master is on the platform, not uh, Toblin, sorry. So uh, Harbin is gonna go. Everyone, thank you for gathering. Um, we have a couple of matters that we need to discuss tonight. Uh, first one is uh, ha Aliana here that you see stand trial for the crimes that she has committed. So after the uh, in the aftermath of what happened, most of you are aware that uh, Glastaff came back and uh, organized an attack on our friends here. Um, she is accused of uh, conspiracy, accomplice to murder, and treason against the town. Uh, she will stand trial here uh, right now, and the, the town will serve as a jury. I will be the judge. And like you, you see at this point that uh, like Arben, uh, you know he he's a bit of a prick, a bit of a prick, and uh, a, a coward. He kind of have this uh, presence in like talking in the public, and you can see why. Like maybe he got elected to this position. Like he, he knows the, the ropes and uh, he, he sounds like a town master. Yeah. You oh, would expect a town master it sounds like. Okay. Oh okay. so um the all the trial is gonna work. It's gonna be a, a skill challenge. Um so you guys need uh two successes against <laughs> Aliana. Uh for her to be uh Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Arbin is just gonna go. So, Aliana, do you have anything to say for your defense? So, Aliana is gonna go first. Um, she's gonna say. Oh. You guys don't see. It's strange also that the whole town has been in wreckage since those adventurers stepped into it. Maybe everything that's happening is just because of them and they are just enjoying our struggle. And uh, at this point when she finishes, uh, you can hear some whisper. <laughs> so uh, she's gonna go ahead and make um, a deception check. Okay. Um, so. So yeah, and so the crowd is kind of whispering, um, and kind of like maybe a bit half agreeing, half uh, not too sure about what to think about it. But um, yeah, for now, it's a success on our end. Okay, fine. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm good. Okay, so. So Arben's gonna go. Um, Airpoint. Anyone else wants to um, offer defense? Not a defense. How do you call the opposite? Um, offer. Uh... I don't know. I, I I think it's it's crown, a but a plead. Yeah. A plead. Anyone wants to offer a plea against Elia? And he, 
specifically look at you guys. Well, it's a it's a skill challenge. It's a bit different, but uh, you can kind of do anything you want. Uh, I'll find a skill for you to roll uh, with a DC depending on how good you're handling this thing. Okay. 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 So, so we're going to make one argument, everyone, and uh, to take her down. <laughs> sure. Okay. Wait. Ooh, uh, let's try to formally uh, properly. Uh, okay. Like I just said, to form like she's lying. And the people that did the people seems to like uh, be agree with her. It's 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 just that the point she made kind of like the energy at the beginning was like kind of uh, it kind of agreed that she she was uh, standing trial and never nobody kind of thought about it like mm -hmm. it was brought she was brought there like she's uh, kind of uh, uh, guilty by default because it's a mob so if you brought someone you say it's guilty for them it's guilty but then uh, the points that she made kind of just started them thinking eh, I mean she might not be guilty so at this point it's just it's just that yeah we're not really shifting yet okay uh, they're more like discussing and uh, waiting to see uh, if you guys have can bring any proofs of the crime. Okay. Well, I would like to say that we didn't come here because we knew that there was red brands or to cause misery. First and foremost, we came here because we were hired by the Rock Seekers, the Rock Seeker brothers, to bring supplies to Barton. To Barton. And we also contributed to uh, the Lion Shield. Oh, Christ. The Lion Shield, okay, maybe I'm, I, I'm gonna miss. We also brought goods for the Lion Shield. Uh, we uh, helped Sister Gabrielle with something she had to be to take care of, and uh, there was also rumors going about zombies somewhere in the old hour well that the issue of the zombies has been taken care of. And I mean, it, it's at this point, from what I'm saying, it's our words against hers. But there's also witnesses that heard Ur conspired against the town with Yarno. And those people are Sister Garel and uh, Sildor. Sildor. They both heard her precisely when they were captured, detained in her basement. And the 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 too soon departed Peter. Peter, may <laughs> may you rest well with Kalimvor. Sorry, you're gonna be stuck with that since I started it. <laughs> okay, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's gonna be my uh, my point, and uh. I mean, most of you can ask uh, Sister Girl El Sildor, are they in... No, Sildor is beside us, right? Yeah, Sildor is there. Sister uh, Garel, she's in the crowd? Uh, yeah, correct, yeah. Okay, so you can ask them to confirm what I've just said. Uh, mic drop. Um, yeah. And I, I actually, just to, 
give you an image. Good. I'm saying that from a stand and seven feet tall above that. So I think pretty much everyone can hear me. Alright, so make a... Um, make a, a persuasion check. Really? Oh no. I got a six. Oh shit. <laughs> um, so you, you just have the, the town that... Um, uh, like they listen to you and um, they, they just go not in unison but like words comes in and out and uh, do, do, do I have it with advantage by bringing Sildor and Sister Garel in it? Well I mean uh, it would have been two different check like, you should have brought a witness or make a speech. Okay, so I made a speech, okay. It's fine. <clears throat> then I rolled so, like a um, shite. Yeah, you kind of brought everything in together, so I had to pick. But, uh, so uh, people are just, yeah, bring the witnesses. It's just your word against her. So, um, so that's a failure for you guys. Oh, shit. If it so, turns bad, we can always chop her head off. <laughs> Might have to run after and be, it. <laughs> and become criminal. <laughs> yeah. Stand trial it's, right after. It's a whole new campaign now. Um, I, I see I'm Sister so, Garanel um, in the in the people. Uh, y you do. I'm going uh, down and I'm going to search uh, Sister Garel to bring her to to the platform. Um, Tamara? Yeah. Um, if you could round up also Barton and Lioni from the Lion Shield to pick, uh, speak on our behalf. Okay. I'm going... Uh, I'm going just quickly in, in, in the people and say, Sister, please help us. You know what happened there. Wait, I believe... Uh, while you do that, um, Ali and I is going to take our turn though. Okay. Or kind of uh, do bring our own argument. Um, So she's gonna go ahead and say, um, "You think this is over now? If you con condemn me, Black Spider is going to burn the city down." And uh, she's gonna go ahead and do uh, 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 intimidation. Intimi sorry, intimidation. Sorry, intimidation. Come on. Intimidation. 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 Check. Yeah. And at this point, like, uh, you see the um, the town kind of uh, seems to get like angry or like. The, uh, the energy kind of shift a bit uh, and they start to say like why are you uh, threatening us you are the one that stands trial and uh, like you see that the energy seems to uh, shift a bit um, so that that is a, a failure on our side okay. um, what happened what what said the the, the sister? Uh, yes, I mean, so dark would do it, but if you need me, I, I, go, I can go, go 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 go. And, and I just push in her, and I'm going to search a Lionel. Lioni. Lioni. Lioni is here. Too, I don't know. I is she? Uh, yeah, pretty much all the time. Okay. I, I mean, I the, search the, uh, for her. 
Huh? This the 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 stem is not that big and it's oh, very like okay. uh, uh, kind of uh, not as stable as it should be. Like it doesn't uh, doesn't uh, fit the required safety measure. <laughs> is there okay. none at that time? Yeah. Uh, if so there, if there's more fit, space, fit. I, I'll step down since I'm already. Uh... Right. So, so if um, if Fern is stepping down, you're, you're able to bring like uh, Sister Garl up and maybe someone else. I just push it and I try to search uh, Lionel. Lionel! <laughs> Scream. Uh, she kind of uh, shyly uh, comes out of the crowd. Yes, I'm, I'm here. Um, you you know we are you we me? yes uh you know that we are uh bringing some uh weapons and things for the people for uh, help them to defend ourselves so you can't just give us a hand in here yeah i, I, I can i can say a word uh, okay and like both I just sister and uh, <laughs> uh be on a line Lionel? Lionel? Anyway. <laughs> Her from uh, the lion. We go on top of the, the, the stage. Um, so Sister Gal is gonna uh, just go ahead and uh, say, I, I was in, in, in the basement when um, everything happened, and also before. Uh, I, I heard Talia make a deal with uh, Glassstaff. She wanted control over the town. She wanted to be kind of leading by force. Kind of the um, successor of Glassstaff once he gets more power and move out of this. And I will use his word, shithole. Oh, so oh, that's a that bit, works. a bit much for a holy woman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it says much. It okay. says much. I'm gonna say that. And uh, I'll make. Mm, make a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, for like since you persu persuaded uh, Elia and well, the problem is in persuasion. I have a minus one. And is it a better roll? Four. Oh, so God. three. <laughs> Why? This dies, man. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. That's my role. Alright. <laughs> so, um... Um... We did good. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. So at this point, um, the 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 town just um, they just shout, "We can't hear you! Talk stronger! <laughs> Talk louder! We can't hear you!" <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's just gonna be it for her. Okay. So next is um, Alia is gonna go ahead and say, um, um, hmm. it's gonna go ahead and say, uh, who, who, who here 
but I've given their life instead of cooperating with them. And she looked at Harbin. Would have you? And Harbin is just like that responding looks uh, on the side of it. Um, so I, she's gonna make. A... I I would have given my life for this town. Almost did. Also, Tamara yeah, here did. almost did as well. Yeah, we we help with this problem about the bread red hats. Red red, red brands. That, and we intend to help the people right now. We try to some kind of teach you how to fight for this wonderful town. And keep some for we... after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to impose a disadvantage. <laughs> All right, I'll give it to you guys. Yay! Um, so it is a persuasion. Um. So, um, yeah, so you, you hear the town just go, um, the, they are risking our, their life for, uh, for the town. Nobody stand up to, uh, to the villains, only them, um, so at this point they are uh, shifting into your know, you know, uh, direction. So uh, it is a uh, a, a, a success on your side. Right. Hey. No, wait. It's a fit. Which one was it? No, she was rolling. So it's a failure. It's a failure for her. her side. Okay. But how much was it? It was two success, but yes. there was no amount of yeah. failures. Just I, two success. No, I didn't say. Okay, that's yeah. fine. First to two. So we have. You, so she you guys are still at zero, and she has one. <laughs> wow. Oh shit. Uh, I start saying like, "Hey, we are here. We'll sell her." And I bring sell her. Like, <laughs> we save her. We save him from the some cave i remember some uh, cave with goblins and he was really trying to help you people and we we we, we were agree with he, with with him to help them in his thing and we are here for just help you guys we don't have another thing to do right now I think. <laughs> so you are. I'm trying to persuade him again. I think. Persuade, persuade that. Uh, the, that that you guys are. We try to uh, help them. Are trying to help them. them. And I bring Seldor to help. To he help me in my, in my argument. So you guys maybe... are not on trial. It's it's Alia that is on trial. Yeah, oh, he's right. <laughs> mm. uh, but she is blame blame us that we bring the the problems to the town. I know she was. Uh, it was our. Defense. She was trying to shift so, the blame. It's working. Maybe, I, <laughs> maybe I try to to show that she's lying, and I bring Sailor. Okay. <laughs> Sailor, you were there. I scream <laughs> and talk to these people. <laughs> um, so Sildar is gonna. Just then, guys, 
Uh, I, I don't think any one of you un understood what Sister Garrel was trying to say. But it's true. Elia was talking about joining with uh, Glassstaff. She was talking about taking over when he's gonna go and ruling on the town with power like the Red Brands did. She is, she has kill Inton and she did commit treason to the town. I'll leave it to you guys to decide. And um, I guess that would be again uh, um, a per, uh, persuasion check. With advantage? You can roll with advantage. Hey! Jesus Christ, please. Oh, oh, that was better. That was better. Uh. 16? Alright, so at this point, the, like, the energy really shifts uh, in, in the crowd. Um, like, for the, the, the small time that Sildar has been in the town, it seem, he seems to have, like, gathered uh, some reputation of being, like, uh, right, right most and, uh, He's one of the good ones. Try, yeah, trying to better the town. And uh, everyone, like, gets, like, and hear everything he's saying and just take it in and, like, take it for the absolute truth. So, uh, yeah, the, this this is a success on your, your side. <laughs> your first one. <laughs> wow. Shit. Um... I'm trying to find a way to use the spell that Simat has prepared, but... <laughs> Not much. Well, the only things I, I, I was able to come up with is um, do a shower or sparks when someone speaks like... <laughs> with the <laughs> prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation? Um, you have to say it's that prestidigitation. You don't have any. He, he doesn't have any like charm spells. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I want to use calm emotions on the whole group because I could. <laughs> uh, but it, 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 if too many of them fails, it kind of. Uh, some of them were charmed, so I don't want to do that to them since the anyways don't you have a comment or... wait come on to Helia to heal he 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 oh shite yeah to say the truth comment is just one word though it's uh, gonna be tricky if you want to try it but uh, yeah, yeah. think about it uh, at <coughs> no, this point, I got, I got Alia to... is just gonna, uh, after what Sildar said um, uh, about um, about her plan, um, she just go ahead and say, "Well, I, I was just gonna use the strength to protect the town." We need someone to protect the town. I was just taking a different avenue. And uh, she's gonna go ahead and do a deception check. <laughs> with, with this advantage, because at this point, uh, the town is just uh, starting, to, the energy is starting, starting to, to shift. Cool. And yeah, at this point, you, you just hear uh, starting to come in uh, the uh, the crowd. And, uh, this is a, a failure still on our part. 
people. People. <laughs> Sorry. People of Fandolin. I, Simat. I, I'm a cleric go, go, go. of Gilimbor. And I, I can try to get the truth out of Elia if you let me. And by the the reading of the crowd, I suppose they, they were gonna let him. Uh, so Samat is gonna cast <laughs> command on Helia, and the word, the one word, I'm not sure. Ah, wait, no, no, oh boy. Uh, <clears throat> how does it work? Anyway, it's gonna be. Fruit, and he's gonna cast command on Helia with fruit as uh, the word. Hopefully, she's gonna speak the fruit, but we'll see how it's interpreted. I was trying to find like a something, something else, different. But, something. Yeah, that it's kinda... something like. How do you... I'm just trying to find a word, but I'm pretty sure it exists that... Oh, yeah, another word, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Um. Like a synonym to truth, but it kind of says like you... Meh. Yeah. I think it's still gonna be dead. Anyway. Truth. Um... So I have some at roll in our kind of check. Uh, what's using this? your, uh, I, I think it's using his wisdom modifier. Really? Maybe. Let's see how shit I roll. God. With his wisdom modifier. So that's yes. better. Wait, uh, as in saving throw? So it's a plus six. So that brings it to 11. All right. Roll the five. Good. Exact same thing as I rolled the four. <laughs> five. Um, don't, don't let me roll. So... Don't, let me... don't let me roll. Oops. Go on. So at this point, uh, Alia is just gonna stand. Um, and she's gonna just go, Pine, you know what? I did it. And everyone can just go burn. That worked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And Samat is gonna do prestidigitation with a shower of sparks like. <laughs> <laughs> just to add to what she says. To make a loon so, look mean. And uh, at that point, like, the, the, the crowd starts to get like um, uh, kind of crazy and overwhelmed. Uh, so Arbin is just gonna like, like um, hit the ground with his uh, big foot. There, there, there. Silence, silence. So, hell yeah, you admit to your crimes. So, I have no other choice to uh, pronounce you guilty. And the, sense that, and the sentence for treason is death. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to, uh, like, uh, bend a little bit towards Harbin. Um, um, Harbin. Um, as a fern, sorry, I'm <laughs> so, getting mixed up. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the accent and the, the voice. Um, Arvin, <laughs> who's gonna pass the sentence? Uh, I, I don't know. We're, we can figure that out after. Okay. Take care away. Uh, there's two guys that just uh, come to take her 
and they are bringing her uh, back to the, the town master hall. Um, all right, so that wasn't all. We have a couple of other um, things that we need to discuss. Apparently, um, some have raised the concern that we might need to think about defending the town. Um, and for this, we need to find someone to orchestrate this endeavor. Um, a sheriff of some sort. So, since we're all gathered here, um, if anyone have anyone else that they want to nominate for that position, please go ahead now and we will be able to decide based on the candidates that we have. I, Fern, nominate Sildor as a town sheriff. Well, I propose Sildor as a town sheriff. <laughs> and um, you guys don't know this, but uh, Semat with his eye, eye perception, uh, he heard he hear Arbin in his like beard just say, uh, "Of course we do." <laughs> <laughs> Who else do you um, want to propose, you dumb duck? So, yeah. at this point, there's just a random guy in the crown that goes, I nominate the big dude! The big one! The tall one! <laughs> and there's another other people that just say, Yeah, yeah, this guy looks tough! He should be the sheriff! You have a new job! <laughs> Nice, well, town sheriff. Um, all right, so we have uh, we have two candidates, uh, and he he turns to you guys and he says, um, "How do you guys want to sell this?" I and <laughs> Sildar is gonna come front. <laughs> well. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want the town to think that I don't have the qualification or I can't defend them, so... Burn, what do you say we still on this with a combat? And the town just ooh, goes, Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! <laughs> with that... Yeah. I'll I'll just put my shield behind me. I agree, and I'll summon the Warhammer and Talon at the same time, and I'm gonna go uh, double-handed. <laughs> okay. the, the crowd just like starts cheering even more. <laughs> I just start like make some agree. space, make some space. Wait, to... I have to remove uh, that. Let me hold on. And they start to just bring some. I don't know how do you call that, like a circle of persons. Right. So uh, where as they you, can fight. <laughs> as uh, Fern, Solar, and Tamara go down the stage, Tamara in the front, starting to like push people so that there's a whoosh, whoosh. circle <laughs> that can be formed uh, in the middle. Um, you see Solar and uh, Fern take a combat position. Oh order. yeah! Just and to lay down some I'm rules! Gonna, I'm gonna pass behind Fern and say, you know if you win, you're gonna be sheriff. Right? <laughs> 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 we'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, Sildar is gonna... Um, Oh wait wait no no, uh, Semat Semat is gonna step in the front. He doesn't have thaumaturgy, so we're just gonna do uh, best he can to shout out, and uh, 
I'll be the, uh, <clears throat> wait, no. I'll be the, uh, the arbiter. I'll be the judge of the fight. And I'm going to be the one who stops either of the combatant if it gets too rough. I'll, I'll stop them so there's not going to be any... It's not going to be to the death. Just a friendly skirmish. <laughs> and he's going to step back again. To not get in melee. Okay. So Laura's just going to go... Yeah. Stay ready. Ooh. To, uh, to Saman. All right. <laughs> the, so at this point, just when Samad is like hand in the hair between you two, uh, we're gonna go and roll initiative. Yeah. Uh. Wait, how does it work? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I never been. Bonus action? No. Okay. Yes. Ah, right, we'll do that. Oops. Eh, five. <laughs> Again. So I roll six for initiation. Initiation. Yep. Yes. Uh, initiative. You roll... Initiative. Six. We roll a 11, so he's gonna go first. Of course he does. Um, we can get the map out, but um, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think there's gonna get a lot of movement. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be two dudes bashing at each other. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so uh, as soon as I'm at, like, go, and he gets out of the way, uh, so, so now just quickly, like, rush forward uh, to you, and he's gonna make uh, two a two attack with his longsword on you. So the first one is twenty three to it. It's it a natural twenty, oh, actually. It <laughs> does. Oh, so it's a critical. Uh, yes. So. Uh, Door. Good. Yeah, I was thinking that. It's a we natural when it come on. Like prone in the floor. Uh huh. <laughs> this is weird. He saved him so many times, and now he's like, "Oh, look at me! I can fight." <laughs> when it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it is uh, mm. seven damage. Seven points of damage. Nah, fine. It didn't roll very well. Wait, no, no, it is uh, not seven oh. points of damage. Um, yeah. So as uh, the impact would have hit me, you see the same similar effect that appeared uh, last time when we were fighting Glassstaff, like uh, veins popping a little bit, taking a little stone color. Just hardening. Hardening, and I'm gonna use a uh, stone endurance. It's a re it's a reaction. Oh, -ho! yes, it's a reaction. Uh, wait, wait, just be sure. Yes, it's a reaction, and that reduces the damage of fourteen. All right, on one hit. Yes. Okay, so it reduces it, to zero. It's a one d twelve and. Uh, 1d12 plus 2 nice you rolled better than me mm -mm. um all right second so he's gonna take his second attack for a uh, 10 to hit doesn't hit so you, you just see him like go very fast hit but for some reason like he hits uh for an arm but it just like seems to be hitting stone and uh cylinder kind of is uh, startled by it but you go again uh make another attack but you're able to uh use your shield against it um so that's the end of this I, I don't have a shield oh right i have two yeah, weapons you just parry it yep. with your um 
whipping. All right. So, um, just question, just a reminder. If I cast a cantrip, that is my action. So as a bonus action, I can have two weapon fighting. No. No. No, I would have yeah for two two two, uh, two weapon fighting. Well, I'm just gonna attack twice then. Pop pop. <laughs> no, slash 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 and bonk since I have a warhammer as well. So it's a twenty to hit with the long sword. Um, it misses. So when as, he misses, you, nice. <clears throat> as you um, you're sure you're gonna hit, but uh, Sildar just uh, like make a move with his sword, and he just throws your um your your hip like to the side. Did did it hit the sword? Uh, yeah. So he made a okay. He made a parry. Like he deflected. Okay. Yes. Just to see how. Uh, so second attack with the warhammer. Well, it's not gonna hit for sure. It's uh, wait, thirteen. No, thirteen. Like he, he, even with his trick, uh, you hit with the warhammer, but uh, like. You hit his uh, armor, and uh, it doesn't seem to be doing any damage. All right. So uh, just after that, Sildar is gonna go ahead and do his two attack again, and uh, one is twenty, the other one is thirteen. Twenty hits. Well, right. yes. That's uh, seven damage, and he did the same amount of damage with like no crit. Uh huh. <laughs> crit. Not too shabby, not too shabby. And that's his turn. He, he only is <laughs> gonna be uh, pretty much like blowing, do, doing blows like this until the end. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, okay. Wait, do I? Hmm. Kind of blows my turn if I do that. I'm gonna try to hit with uh, the Warhammer on this turn. I'm gonna go Warhammer first. Wait. Question. <laughs> yes. On the second attack, there's something that doesn't apply, right? There's a bonus. Yeah, it's just a, the the plus. So hitting with my warhammer first is not a good day. At the uh, I'm gonna go with the long sword then, since it has a better plus. So. Uh, that's, uh, 23 to hit. Um, that's, that just hits. Dude! Uh, it's a what? So again, he's like going for the kind of same trick, uh, but you saw through it the last time and you're able to, uh, just do a, a small feint that connects the, the blow. Yeah. That is uh, seven points of damage. We're just straining blows. Oh. Where's my pen? Gone. There it is. <gasps> Natural 20! So, a 24 to hit 
with the Warhammer. That hits. Uh, I double the dice, take the best one, and double it. Guys, you need to double it. I didn't double it for my crit. I just... Oh. No. Oh, I think I did. Never mind. You didn't? Yep. That's what you do. Eh. Two, two fours. So, I take the four. And... <laughs> double it. That's mean eight points of damage. Wow. Yep, yep. He really wants to be a sheriff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, you, like, still are, like, he was sure he, he was gonna be able to do his uh, trick again, but <laughs> you, uh, threw it and gets the blow in, and he just, like, uh, is kind of surprised, and then the war armor just. Boom! Punk. Smash it on the side, and uh, yeah, that that did some damage on him. Oh yeah! He's gonna uh, go. Oh, it's uh, eight points of bludgeoning. Bl bludgeoning. Don't know if it makes you. a difference. But... I don't think it does. So he's gonna go ahead and roll uh, two attacks again. One is a 20, the other one is 12. No, 11. 20 hits! Right. And, oh, it's... 9 points of damage. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, 9. Ba -da -ba -da. Okay. So he goes in like uh, full fury, uh, two blows, the, the first one just like goes through uh, your armor, uh, the other one doesn't connect. It's your turn. My turn. I'm so urgent. Like, throughout this, like, the, uh, it's going very fast, but, like, the crowd is just cheering and Having super excited fun. and everything that's going on. There's sides that start to, like, uh, people, like, making side. There might be wagers going on. Yeah. In the back. <laughs> And Kate, Kate is at the. He, he's taking the money, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Freaking rogues. Uh, again, same, same, uh, same trick. Long sword and warhammer. Chop, chop. Uh, 16. It's not gonna hit, I guess. Uh, it's 21 to hit. Um. Anyone hits? Eight points of uh, piercing damage. Right. Uh, sorry, no, slashing damage. Pretty sure it doesn't do much of it. Uh, Warhammer hit. Uh, to, to strike. Bonk. I'll bonk him with uh, 21 to hit. This is... Okay. Uh, so okay. you take your uh, your blow and hits, uh, and like he he's starting to uh, show somewhere now, uh, but he uh, he's still able to dodge out of the way of the armor. Okay. He's gonna go back and again, two blows. And that's a. Uh, that's a 10 and a 7. Both, both would miss and like. deflect. So, without any struggle, like, 
you, you might even start seeing some um, uh, a little fatigue. Yeah, a little fatigue in Sildar. It's trying to uh, get the blows in, but you are easily able to play parry them. I just approach and cast Cure Wounds in Sildar. <laughs> That is a uh, uh, D8. Are you are you trying to um, to be stealthy about it, or you're doing that in front of everyone? Uh, I'm trying to be a stealthy. <laughs> but wait, 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 because I, I don't know how. I... Yeah, I'm trying to be a stealthy. <laughs> stealthy, doing crew wounds that needs a touch. Okay. Hmm. Well, like I can pass in two. Bon chance. So, uh, in the back. Make a. Make a slate of hands check. Slate of hands. A slate of hands. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Jeez, please, please, please. Okay. Uh, eleven. All right. Yeah. No. So, nine. Uh, yeah, eleven. So as uh, as Fern is kind of parrying. Um, and pushing back Sildar, you kind of stumble a bit and lands in your arms, and then you just like push him back and push him back in the uh, the circle, and uh, the rest of the crowd, and uh, at the same time you cast Cure Wound, yeah. Cure Wounds on him. Cure wounds. Did I okay. see that? Uh, make a make a perception check. Okay. Uh, because my passive. Perception is 11. I don't know if. Uh... Nine points of. Uh, nine points. Uh, nine hit points. I rolled 18. So perception would be 19. Yeah, you absolutely see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would be my Simmet turn. Fern sees it. Fern sees it. <laughs> subtle. That was subtle. I'm just trying to he be the sheriff. The jewel. Okay. <laughs> so is it is it Sildar's turn or it's your turn? No, it's your turn. It's my turn, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh alright. So, okay, so, um, I see how it is. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast a uh, Blade Ward on myself. So, do a little sigil. And until this. Wait, the end of my next turn, I have resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, damage dealt. And. I think that's gonna be it. That's it for my turn. Oh no, wait, I wanted to do like, are you not entertained? Oh. <laughs> Shit! <Sure. laughs> do you have advantage until. I don't have advantage, next. I have resistance to oh. piercing, slashing, bludgeoning damage. So basically, I take half damage if he hits. Alright, so he's gonna go ahead and make two other attacks. One is uh, 18, the other one is 13. 18 hits. Alright. That's gonna be six slashing damage. Reduced, Reduced to three. To three. Ah! Okay. So as uh, Fern is doing his sigil and turning around and like cheering the crowd, so now he's just like <laughs> <laughs> hitting him on the shoulder, like in the back. Uh, it hits, but it doesn't seem to be uh, doing as much damage as normal normal person would take. And it, it does its effect on the crowd, like. 
they are like just crazy at this point. <laughs> That's fine. Um, um <laughs> do I do that? <laughs> Sure. Um, no, no, I know. <laughs> That's a bit too chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> or do I? I'll go with uh, two strikes. Long sword and warhammer. Uh, by the way, Samat is gonna... Well, I, I'll let you and all the where Semat stops the, the fight. If uh, judging by cell doors and my, well, I don't know. Do you see my HP or you don't? I don't. I okay. Don't know. I don't see it. All right, it's fine. I'll I'll judge uh, if I'm uh, I'm still fine or not. Uh, yep. Two, uh, two strikes, long sword. Natural 20. Oof. That brings it to 25. Oh. What? 25 to hit. That hits? You're, you're ro rolling very high, or...? Like you, you, you make a lot of like above twenty hits. How how much is your plus on your weapon? Long sword is plus five. But no, uh, I'm rolling two two natural twenties uh, on this fight. It's pretty good. I remove my uh, that. I don't <laughs> roll in it. I don't know why it, it seems to roll like shite. Oh, so I bugs? removed it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's eight points of damage. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, eleven points of damage. Ooh. Ooh. How does he look? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're in the midst of like rampa rampaging at Rampage. So, okay, fine. Uh, roll the other ones. <laughs> I uh, Cinema, okay, do that's... you don't think that this is enough? <laughs> 13 points of damage. Uh, 13 to hit, my bad. Poor guy. <laughs> 13 misses. Uh, misses. So, uh, with your uh, weapon, the, the first hit, like, um, hits him, like, in the chest. Like, through it. And then, uh, He's able to kind of block and parry your other uh, hit, um, but yeah, at, at this point, just uh, Semet just steps in and like just uh, get duty. Oh, do <laughs> okay. All right, all right. That's enough. This is where I draw the line. Please step away. <laughs> so um, and I, I'm I'm gonna and so is just like his, uh, dismiss dismiss his, both both uh, weapons uh, when Samat steps in and take a non-aggressive right. stance. Yeah, Silver is looking very rough, but um, uh, yeah, he's holding his uh is flank and uh, he's still standing but yeah uh, he, he was pretty much at his limit all right all right i'm still fine um so the winner is <laughs> <eats. laughs> well samat is the uh is the judge referee. The referee, that's what I was... Yeah, it is over. Uh, can Semat do anything? Wait, wait, wait. What does he have? 
like a basic, uh, basic, basic, basic. It'll do, it'll do. When, when he kind of, like when we, we move a little bit, he's going to make a cure wounds level two on, on, uh, Sildor. And he's going to give me a cure wounds level one. So I'm going to have to roll for that. Hold on. Sorry if I'm loud. Yeah, I'm loud. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what happens when you play a dwarf. You you get loud. <laughs> you get in. <laughs> you are cut into it. Yep. Uh, so for Sildor, it's gonna be. Uh, that's a fifteen plus blah, 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 three. Eighteen points of healing for Sildor. And oh, oh the oh yeah, that feels good. <laughs> and he's gonna like stand, like stand more straight. And uh, after that, he instantly f feel like well better. And that's eight points of healing for me. Right, that's cure wounds level one, one d eight. I roll five plus three. Where were you at for uh, the HP? 12 out of 31. That's good. Yep. With two natural 20. With, yeah, that, that kind of... Uh, uh, I'll use... A, it's once per short rest. I'll do a second win for me. Just to make sure I'm full HP. Ish. Hopefully. Okay, uh, wait, 10, where is 1d10? Ugh. Six points of healing from thick and wind. Okay. All right, so, so. So the winner is. Um, wait, how do I? <laughs> um, I know the the fight. I, I, I'm the winner of the fight, but I cannot take the position of sheriff. We, we've all seen how... Sildor handled himself and I didn't spare him. I didn't go easy on him. I went almost all out. So I declined the offer of being sheriff because I cannot guarantee I'm going to be always here. I believe Sildor has um, the best intentions for Fendalin and we have I want to say business, but it's not really business. But we have other things to attend to before we can actually settle. But I can still support Sildor in the training of the militia. And you, you've seen it. He can fight for himself. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Nice. Thanks. For performance, if you want. It's pretty much the same. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Eight. Oh, man. <clears throat> um, so, Sildar is just gonna... I... I think I can take the job. And I think I can do what you guys expect of me and get you guys out of being ruled by monsters. Fear. Unjust 
beings. If you would have me. And, um... And Simat in the crowd goes, Yeah, for the Lord! Yeah, for the Lord! But Yay! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So yeah, the, the crowd just uh, starts, like, the kind of, the energy kind of uh, went down a bit, like, with uh, Fern's speech. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but it, it's going back up, and uh, people are um, accepting their new uh, sheriff. Uh, so Sildar is going to go back on the um this the the stage he's gonna go so you've seen us fight we need fighters we need people that can defend the town i'll be sure to try and go find and hire people with the skill set that we need but in the meantime we need to be able to defend ourselves. We have weapons, we have armors, we have shields. We're gonna equip you, teach you the basic, and give you the right to defend your own town. So who's with me? I. <laughs> so Tamara is just like, uh, moving forward just to start like like the wave and then like some other people uh in the crowd starts like raising and and moving forward maybe about like 10 12 people okay um, so arbin arbin is just gonna oh um yeah if the ones that uh are interested can put come and put their names on the sheet of paper uh, i don't know sildar what are your plans but i think tomorrow we can start some training um sildar is like just gonna nod shake his nod and then nod. uh people just starts coming in writing down their names and yeah, they start to scatter, uh, the energy goes down, people are going back. Some going in the inn, some going home, uh, some talking about like uh, the trial and the combat and like, the magic and everything that, uh, that transpired. Basic um, gossip. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna, yeah. It's gonna be a, a, a day or a night that is gonna go down like in history for the town. People are gonna talk about it for a long time. And there's not much in the history, so... <laughs> it's still a small town. Yep. Uh, uh, Sildor. What are you guys doing? Sildor. Sildor. Nice fight. I'll punch him on the shoulder. <laughs> and, uh, he, he takes it. He's actually more um, um, grounded than you would expect after the fight, but uh, he, he kind of smirk at you. Yeah. You can hold your own. I knew that, but you're strong. You're a strong one. Um, as for, I don't know if we told you, but uh, all the weapons and stuff is being held at the Lion Crest by Lyony. The, so, lion. the Lion Shield? Lion Shield Crest, yeah, that's what I said. Lion Shield Coaster, yeah. Okay. That is also so, what I said. Tomorrow we're gonna have to get those to some uh, boot camp. 
How soon can you start tomorrow? Are you gonna help me or? <clears throat> I was thinking we can let like uh, some paper here in the middle of the town saying like uh, everyone who is going to train with us uh, he can just wait us here uh, at the fierce hour in the morning and we can come and search the people and go I don't know I don't know where is the good place to go and train these people you know better this town yeah well I mean there's a lot of fields there's a lot of farms we just need some land with I don't know scarecrows so that they can hit something with their bows and sword um, yeah for, for the benefit of this, we're going to say that like they were told when uh, putting down their name to come like, at the first hour of the morning uh, tomorrow, yep. like in, in okay. the center. Um, okay. um, wait, so, uh, wait, wait, are, wait. Are, do you guys have more pressing matters or... You're going to be helping tomorrow. Um, no. My plan, my plan, my plan is to train these guys for some time until I'm comfortable that they can on their own, at least for some time. Then I'm going to make a trip to uh, Neverwinter and see if I can find more experience people to add to the group or replace or depending on how devoted our new members are yeah I can give uh, at least a day or two to get things started and uh, but after that we might have other matters to tend to gonna have I'll to dis I can. discuss it with the, the, the team and uh, if I may, we have some uh, crossbows, but I'm not the expert in ranged weapons. I don't know if Cade would be interested in uh, training some people. Do I have to wake up early in the morning? You would have to wake up early in the morning. I guess I can. <laughs> Good. Wow. It was a big day. Get some rest. I'll yep. see you at the crack of dawn. See you tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, he waves at you. And goes... Um, On that note... Cold. <laughs> That's somewhere. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to go take a nap. No, I'm just going to go sleep. No, no, no. I'm not a ranger or elf that only <laughs> needs to meditate for four hours. I need my full night of sleep. Right. So, anything else that you guys want to do or uh, you're just going to go sleep, sleep? Well, guys, we should actually... Uh, we should find a wizard. <laughs> uh, I mean, everything points towards this. It's we have a, we have a staff, we have a grimoire, we have so many things a wizard could use, but none of us can. We should obviously find a wizard. We're missing spellcasters. So. You are suggesting that we have to put some, I don't know, uh, a poster that say we search some wizard <laughs> in every corner. I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> An ad in the newspaper. Wizard Good question. Wanted. Yeah, wizard wanted. 
Have you seen this wizard? <laughs> like that. Have you seen a wizard? Well, maybe in some point we're going to find someone. Hmm. But Anyways, now... that was just uh, food for tots. Good night. I'm out. <laughs> so you guys go back to the inn. Um, it is noisy in the inn. Uh, but you guys are kind of tired, you know, you're, you have to wake up early, so you make your way to, uh, to your rooms. Um, Fern, you don't have any trouble going to sleep, but uh, some of the others um, have some trouble with, with, with the, the noise going on downstairs, with all the energy of uh, the town hall. Um, <laughs> But uh, nevertheless, you guys are able to find sleep, get your long rest, and wake up uh, really early at like five. Oh yeah! In the morning, four thirty, even at the crack of dawn. <laughs> I was rooted. actually like Tamara. You wake up like no trouble. Uh, Fern, you're able to wake up also. Uh, Kid is not waking up at, by, <laughs> at least by, by himself. I just so, hit uh, his door. Kate, just remember, we have an appointment today. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm pointing. All just right. All right. So, go uh, downstairs. Is so Toplin up uh, at this time? I don't think so. Who? Toblin. Oh. Toblin? Uh, Toblin himself sleep. is uh, not up, but there is people, like, it, it's a town, like, there is people that wakes up at, like, 4 a.m. and stuff like that, so... Uh, like There's someone of... tending the, at, at yes. the end. Yeah, okay. okay, 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 okay. Nice. So, um... Something with... We'll we'll take our uh, breakfast to go. So like some bread and stuff to to to, right, to eat on so the way. You order you order food that is easy to uh, gather. Um, yeah. Slice of bread, slice of bacon, and make a sandwich. <laughs> a little bit of is hungry. <laughs> oh Christ, <laughs> copper. Copper wants bacon. I throw some bacon to Copper. Hey, sit, sit. Hey guys, I, I just had an idea. What if he we were to uh... really sit? Like he, he's just moving. Sit, <laughs> stay still. I mean, oh, he, he's a backpack on Semac, so you cannot really move that much. Um, no, but yeah. I think well, for last time some... you untied him. And yeah. Put him on leash. Are we taking like a dog? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's weird. Um, yeah, guys, that's that's just an idea. But uh, there's gonna be a uh, fresh meat uh, at the town hall. Maybe we could just put copper in the same cell and just let things happen. No, <laughs> it's not a good idea. Please. Nah, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes on. <laughs> <laughs> Tugging on copper. Uh huh. Come on, copper. Let's get some meat. Uh, no, no, I mean. <laughs> Take copper. Take yeah. Copper. Grab breakfast Drop and uh, eat on the go. We go. So you make your way to uh, the town hall. Sildar is already there. Some people start to gather also. Um, to wait maybe another like five ten minutes until we get most of the people that uh, signed up, and they look really rough. Like most of them, uh, they put their name on the paper and they were told to get up early. Uh, but most of them like went for the party uh, at the end, like talking and uh, drinking and uh, partying. 
to some late hours. So some of them re really look rough, like like you would expect a new crew uh -huh. uh, starting their first day at the boot camp. And <sighs> you look at some of them, and and you look at Cade, and there is not a, a big, <laughs> big difference in how they are looking. <laughs> <laughs> we um, have to go for so, the for the weapons and yeah. everything. Oh, that's yeah. that's what I was gonna suggest. Uh, while we wait for the people to gather, uh, I don't know if uh, Tamara or Kate want to come with me to grab everything we need and just bring it here. So it's gonna be uh, everyone's gonna have something. Yeah, I'm going with you. Yeah. Wow. Well. I think it would be easy if we all go, so we can we can equip equip everyone there, so okay. you guys don't have to carry the whole lot somewhere. So we're gonna okay. go do a stop there, equip everyone with some weapons, and then um. Let's I get asked, to the field. Uh, I asked the uh, Darren uh, if we could use his field field. And uh, he said he was going to set up some like scarecrows and like uh, a nice spot for, for us. So Darren, Darren, can... what a nice guy! He is a really nice guy. Uh, I like him a lot. We He's strong go... too. We should go get the weapon running. Be a warm up. Good idea. Good idea. Let's, let's yeah. sweat. Let's sweat the night nice. away. I like how you think. And I don't know. Does right. get her up, people? Does Simon has uh, tomaturgy? I suppose he does. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, so probably he doesn't have it prepared, but he would have like during the night. That's, uh, that's that's my guess. So uh, he's gonna use tomaturgy. He's gonna go for like a. Uh, all right, people, give me two rows. Let's hip hip. Let's go. Run, run that sweat off. And he's gonna. Tomaturgy, how long does it stay? And he's just gonna like uh, motivate troops like. Uh, right, left, right, left, right. Is he like chanting something? <laughs> we da, da, are da, da, all da, da, da. going to bed. We are. <laughs> Oh, sorry. The, the only thing I was able to, to, to come up with is uh, I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told the end of the world be mighty cold. It's a song from uh, Ice Age. That's the only thing. Good. It's the dodos that sings that. That works. Yeah. So uh, for one a... minute. Okay. I start to push in the people like, quickly, go. Then you start chanting with them. It's a minute. We have a, a queue of people looking rough, trying their best to keep up and uh, sing uh, along with the, the chant that you guys are uh, leading. So you make your way to uh, the Lion Shield Coaster. Is it open? It's open. <laughs> Um, it opens at nine. Well, you get there. The the door is closed. You knock on the door. Yep. Uh, yeah. And uh, Lining uh, comes to the door. She opens the door. She, she looks a bit uh, sleepy. Like she's not. She's maybe in a. Uh, nightgown, uh, having a cup of tea, like she she just wake up. It seems. Um, oh ah, what wow. Um, good morning. I wasn't expecting you guys uh, so early. Uh, so so sorry. Um, do, do you guys want tea or um, yeah, how may I help you guys? Um, she, she really seems like kind of confused. I, I don't know. So far, I'm I'm having a bit uh, of trouble trusting people that offer tea. 
she like she has no clue what you uh, <laughs> you're referring to. Uh, She's sorry. Like, oh, uh, La- so- sorry. No, no, no tea. I, I won't. Uh, uh, never mind. So- sorry. Last time we were offered tea, we had we got ambushed right after. Oh, so right, right. Um, yeah, that 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 would have this effect on on people. You know, post-traumatic uh, syndrome. Um, post-traumatic. <laughs> right, right. right. We're uh, here come for in, come in. for the gear. Oh, wow, actually. there's a lot of people with with you. Um, yeah, I you might you want my, you might want to put something shouting. else in that. <laughs> Not all of us has been. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. The the, the weapons are. Uh, here and like she points to uh, a door um I- i'm gonna go uh put something on but you you can start uh equ- equipping and giving uh the, the gear to everyone okay i just start just throwing the source like you you yeah you take it <laughs> uh tamara crossbow tamara maybe I try to pick <laughs> Pick like like uh how can I put that? <laughs> um, those that has like my sort of build a little bit but more bulky, give them midi weapons, and those that look like more caged, give them like range weapons. Yeah, okay. ish. Okay, I start just looking the the little ones. Hey, you take a crossbow. Just. Be careful. Uh, what is so worse? Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, at this point, just pick what you want. There's, they're available there. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, I'm the, the bunch of. Uh, I just hope that just they like... don't going to hurt themselves <laughs> the first day. <laughs> we we have what? They they start equipping themselves like putting uh, armors that are too large for them, uh, picking up some. Swords, crossbow. Uh, some are taking a quiver and dropping with all like the arrows on the ground. Start <laughs> picking, picking them all up again. Like it's you guys are looking at at this whole. Uh, I say to scene. everyone, I say to everyone like these weapons are unique, so you have to care for them. Please don't hurt each other with them. We're going to practice with another thing that <laughs> that uh, uh, would be less uh, harmful for you. But for the moment, you are the responsible of these weapons, okay? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, go. So yeah, you guys are just uh, uh, looking at them, finishing up uh, gearing. Um, some of you, especially Semat and maybe Fern, are saying to yourself that uh, it's gonna be harder than you <laughs> thought. It the, the whole situation reminds me of uh, the the battle of, of uh, Helm's Deep in the Second Lord of the Ring. You know when when it's uh, um, like young, well, teenagers and old men gearing up, and uh, that, that that situation exactly. reminds me of that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, nevertheless, you guys are able to get somewhat uh, those guys decently equipped, um, and you move out of the Lion Chill coaster and start making your way to Darren's farm. Before we go, I'm gonna yes. ask, uh, probably yeah. Lyoni is still around? Yep. Okay. Uh, Lyoni, do you know somewhere we could find some uh, wooden stick? Because I, I believe that um, they can practice with themselves without hurting 
I well I do hope so they're gonna be able to like practice alone without hurting themselves but if we're to spar one-on-one -on -one, I don't think using steel today is a good idea so if there's any place we could find like practice swords or or like just, wooden swords? Uh, just normal sticks. It's not Maybe necessarily so. in the shop or if she just knows a general place like Um Wow. Well, well um <laughs> it, it's funny you ask, but um the uh, the town the shop just in front of my shop is a woodworker. Ooh. Wait, was there always a woodworker there, or? Well, yeah. <laughs> nice. It, it, we never it, ask. It, it, it didn't open uh, this morning. No. Yeah, you can go see uh, if you want the name. I'll have to <laughs> dig, dig it up. <laughs> it's fine. For now, it's fine. It's not open yet. Uh, it's a no. It's a woodworker. Ah, uh, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, you can uh, you can go uh, just in front and ask about some sticks. They should have plenty. Okay, fine. I'll be able to help you with. <laughs> so I'm going to search the sticks. The, yeah, the sticks, and you guys can st start with the with the training. Kaden can start. I don't know, teaching. Still, I don't know. <laughs> the things <laughs> you do. I'm supposed to teach crossbow. Yeah, range. Yeah, I'll take basic. Uh, well, probably with Seldor. Uh, I'll take basic, uh, like, sword and spear handling, and, like, how to hold it, and... Ba I'll, I'll just go with basic training that I don't know how it works myself, but Fern would, so he knows what to do. <laughs> That's right. I'm going so, to do uh, that. So, you guys... You guys pass by uh, the woodworker. Uh, it's fairly easy to uh, get a bunch of sticks, uh, or like maybe uh, a silver worth of wood. You get like plenty for everyone to break, even a couple of them. Um, okay. So you can mark that. Um, a silver, one silver? Darren, for all of them. Yes. For all the six? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, and um, so you, you get to Darren's farm. Uh, so, uh, Fern, you gather like a group of more uh, meaty oriented. Uh, you're using your background, your military background to. Uh, start training them. Um, Kate, take a bunch that are uh, smaller, more keen to crossbows. Uh, they are equipped with their own crossbows. Uh, you start like show they, show, showing them just like the very basic of like, how you reload, how you shoot, and uh, start like giving some tricks this. how they can uh, aim and, and uh, get the best out of it. This is a sword! But yeah, you, you guys spend a whole day um, like with these guys trying to get the best out, uh, out of it. So, yeah, anything else you guys want to uh, do here, uh, or you just spend the day, uh, spend the day um, training with them. 
during the day for uh, copper doesn't get all the time in the back of the mat I <laughs> take a uh, copper and I just take the the leash and put it in some tree and I just let it there like just play play copper play <laughs> under, under the shade do something <laughs> yeah copper I want copper give me a Another copper, copper. I Take one copper. copper. And I threw a copper for him. <laughs> just turns like uh in front of the tree and just like <laughs> My precious. Knee kneel down and start like, just looking at it and putting down all the coppers that we gathered with you guys and just oh, look geez. at it and play with it. Mal copper. <laughs> We have ourselves a golem. Why do we have ourselves a golem? Anywho. <laughs> yep. Yep. So um, does yeah. does Copper looks like he wants to fight? Does he look interested in what we're doing, or he just looks as is is is, is shiny? Uh. It doesn't look part particularly uh, interested. Okay. I mean, we could have made a fighter out of him, <laughs> but no. Could be, but he can just the first... eat and bite and everything. The first time you met him, he was unconscious because he fainted. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we, we okay. ended up with the strong goblin. Yeah. The best of the best. Yes! La creme de la creme. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, you guys spent uh, most of the day uh, training those guys. Um, you started early. Uh, you take a, a break, maybe, for, uh, for lunch. Um, you don't end the day too late either. No, like, no, we're. All these guys are not. Uh, shouldn't push them too hard to discourage yeah. most of them. So once and they're like, spent, we're just gonna. Them, like... Yep. But y you guys uh, uh, like achieve just that. Like they are drained after the day. Like completely drained. They you push them all to their limit. Um, but I mean, you you get the feeling that it can get somewhere. Um, these guys seem very uh, determined to help the town, and they want to learn. And uh, you guys are actually uh, not bad teachers. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, most of them uh, after the day. Uh, some of them are just like laying on the ground, taking their breath before uh, leaving. Uh, but Where are the dummy for the the, the range? They are in the field. Like how far are they? Feet away. How much? Uh, well, I mean, like you, you guys kind of. Uh, uh, broke down the field in section like you okay. were training more melee in the place and you had some of the dummies for you and there was another uh maybe place where all the dummies were next to each other um but you can pretty much get uh to the range that you want so 600 feet uh <laughs> no crap too far. A hundred fifty feet. You can, you can run in the field for six hundred uh, feet, and then take a like because you guys are close to the farm. There is still like okay. I'll take one dummy, where... and I'll put it at like around six hundred feet from the farm. Okay, so in the middle of the field. Yep. Well, make a make a perception check. Actually. 
Yay! Super great roll perception. Eight. <laughs> um. So, you take a dummy. You start uh, kind of running in the field, and when you actually um, estimate that you're at roughly 600 feet, you uh, stop to put down your dummy, and you look to your right, and there is one already in the field, about at the same place you are putting your own, uh, that was there just to be a scarecrow, oh. <laughs> but you missed it while looking. <laughs> So but as I realize that, I'm just going to go like, Roger, a friend. <laughs> and I'll put it beside him. <laughs> so you put down your scarecrow beside the other ones and just runs back um, in shame. Yep. Uh, the, the, the meaning of that is because I didn't use my longbow yet. <laughs> I assume so. <laughs> So, I want to shoot stuff. Come on. And it's 600, the range. I mean, it's freaking long, 600. I it want is. to try it with him. I have a long bow, too. So, I'm going so to shoot with you. as you guys just, you. like, um, starts, like, uh, getting this ready, some of the, um, the trainee that haven't left yet starts like gathering around you guys so uh they are kind of uh, understanding that you're gonna do a shoot off <laughs> and uh, you are already uh gathering the small crowd and they're just sitting in the field uh still taking like back their energy uh and just waiting for uh See how you get guys can be uh, better than the so all they add all day. Tamara, you want to do a uh, best out of five? Okay, come on, who make this the good shot? Let's go. First shot, we uh, <laughs> by the way, it's at disadvantage. Right? Is if it's over 550, it's at disadvantage. Since it's freaking oh. far. Are on the very, very limit of the boat. Yeah. So it is. Okay. With disadvantage. <gasps> oh. Natural 20. Ouch. And 8. So that brings uh, it to 11. Is there a plus? Uh, yeah, I have a plus 3. I have a plus five in the long bow so yeah, not bad. 14. 14. how much but, is it to uh, hit the dummy <laughs> i don't know <laughs> D, D dummy ac does that exist what's the ac of inanimate objects DC a five or so. But in this case, we are deciding if. That's okay, so it depends to... if yeah. Because some say like object has a DC of right. five. Ten four and dex of zero. It depends if it has dexterity or if it has armor on. If it has armor on, it has the AC of. Uh... So I'm guessing it's uh... up to the DM. I'll say it has an AC of ten. Uh, I hit. I hit too. Maybe not as clean, but one. And, and I have you, to roll you, to damage. You, you, uh, well, I mean, that that is a dummy matter. But um, okay, yeah, the, the small crown is just whoa, whoa. <laughs> Do they you even see? <laughs> like uh, Tamara hitting like right in the chest. Uh, Fern kind of hitting 
those two uh, the side of maybe the uh, like um, the leg the or the, the flank just barely touching it um, yeah Wait. I just pulled from my yeah? pocket some uh, some tissue tissue or I don't know some Cloth? kind of thing yeah. and I just going to tie it in my in my eyes <laughs> and I'm going to make I shoot uh, blind <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed I don't know. to be the range teacher and I'm not participating <laughs> in that. Can you? Do you no, have I a... can't. I don't have a long bow. Yeah. <laughs> I just have a short bow. But you yeah. can take, like, I mean, the, with all the material that everyone uh, brought. I don't know, was there long bows in the stuff that you got gathered? No, there was only no, crossbows. Only where, cross where did I get my long bow? Uh, there? It was from the bugbears or the hobgoblin from the last fight that I took a longbow, I think. Okay. So I and believe we you, would have, have one available. I think I get the longbow in the in the mansion. There was one, I think. And I take it from there. Well, you, you would have others if you got a long. Or I, do, or I don't remember, maybe... But we went there two times. Yeah. Or maybe I already have it? <laughs> or maybe, maybe I buy it? Because we, we buy some... Uh, some things when we get the, into the town. Uh-huh. So I think maybe I buy it, or maybe I... Yeah. There was only crossbows in the... Uh... Yeah. The man, so they am buy it. But I mean, you can uh, you can sure. still land. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you wanted to do it? I just give in my my long. Bow. I mean, the long bow is probably like twice your size. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's like that's yeah. the halfling. That's a long bow. Can I shoot a long bow? I don't know. It's a martial weapon. Wait, you have? Heavy range, two handed range. I think you can. If you're proficient with longbows. Maybe long he's just not proficient with it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. proficient either. You're not proficient with it? Well. It, it, it changes the, uh, the plus to hit. Maybe since it's a martial weapon. I don't know. Good question. Go, Cade! Take your shot. Yeah! yeah. We have this advantage. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. And how do you disadvantage a disadvantage because you go blind? You don't. Oh. I got 12. 12 hits. Yeah. That's it. Could that hat lead? <laughs> Alright, second shot. So, like, seeing, seeing Cade, like... Just shoot that bow is something to behold. I'm is there is there like a small recoil that you see him like? Poom. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't think so. Shooting okay. second shot. Uh, oh my god! It's a natural nine. one and a five. So it's a it's nine. Four four. Oh, misses. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Do it, Kate. Whoa. Whoa. I got six. Oh. <laughs> All of you guys just. It's not that far. Oh, the wind. The wind has picked um, up. Uh, the, yeah, the wind yeah. shifted as we were shooting, that's why. 
Yeah. See, you have to make sure that you look at where the wind blows when you shoot a bow at this distance. That's the demonstration we were trying to do here. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. He really tried to that explain that. <laughs> I'm going for the next. Yep. Some of, some of them are taking notes. Natural one again. Eight. <laughs> Come on, Kate. Uh, what do I get? Wait, wait. I just have an idea. I got ten. And okay. just hit. Yeah. <laughs> So as like all uh, the arrows of uh, Tamara and Fern just fly by, uh, you have Cade's one that just hit barely on the side of. The oh, room. Cade! That's why he is the teacher. Two, two out of three. One more. Cade wins. One more. Oh shit! Okay. And with, with... no. Four will. Seven. That's fucking 14! Nice. I got 10. Eh? Gaze one barely hits again. Fern actually like headshot the thing. <laughs> and Tamara. Tamara just hit the other one on the side. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's why you're uh, the range teacher. Congratulations. I mean, it's not every day that you see a halfling you. shooting a longbow, so. <laughs> Some of them, like, whispers, and they're, they're saying, like, uh, imagine what he can do with, like, an actual, like, weapon of his choice. <laughs> Alright, let's call it a day. It's been nice. What do you think, Saldor? What is your yeah. uh, first... Uh, I'll try to take his first impression without, like... Uh, the, 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 yes, I want to the, know. the, the, the trainees uh, eavesdropping, so... Would you just kick out those remaining... Uh, yep. Gathered with, gather with Saldor. Go rest, um, people! We'll do that again tomorrow. Uh, so why don't you make your way back? In with Solnar, we chat a bit. Yeah. Um, goes, ah, yeah. I mean, it's not that worse than I thought, but it's not better than I thought. It's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Um, it's gonna take some time, but I think we can get somewhere, at least somewhere that it can be, uh, able to defend on their own. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll give it another day. Just to make sure they're uh, they have the, the basic and they can build on that after with you supervising, yeah. so it should be fine. It was a lot of help today. Thank you guys. Well I was actually able to practice my longbow. It's been a while. It's fun. He never do it. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Some good shot in there. Yeah. I should have joined you guys. Still not actually as a longbow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, he, he, no, he has a heavy crossbow, which is 400 feet. Not. 600. Oh. Longbow wins! <laughs> just like just like a trebuchet. Kate is like... Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, heavy crossbows are... Uh... I'm starting to... I'm starting to be scared. Maybe Sildar won't have his heavy crossbow tomorrow. Maybe he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> My crossbow went missing during the uh, night. What happened? Uh, let's go eat! Kate has like a, a crossbow as big as him in, on his back. 
<laughs> I don't know. Fun this one. Right. Um, so yeah, you guys uh, get that to the end. Uh, anything else you guys want to do? I tried. Uh, I tried Colin. to teach some trucks to. First, first, to first, first round is on me. <laughs> like uh, so. Attack. So when I say attack, you have to attack to this and I just throw some um, bacon to some wall I say attack attack copper mm, copper I know attack I can attack I won't attack a wall okay well you're going to practice tomorrow with something but I need you to learn something yeah we can just Try with some bunnies, I think. You can just go to the forest and search something mm, to. Yeah, that's, that's that might be hunt. a. Can maybe I eat, can I eat the bunnies? Maybe yeah, that's a good can. idea. Go go make him hunt in the forest. Maybe he'll yeah, never come back. I'm not a good hunter. Copper is not fast. Uh, we're just going to practice some tricks because we need you to help us some way i don't know how but i'm going to teach you some tricks <laughs> tomorrow copper on survival copper help oh copper wants copper take a copper i throw another copper <laughs> <Ha>. <laughs> well at least you'll be rich he worked with copper so, so yeah. I'm paying for the meal, beer, and uh, do we still have rooms? I think yes. Hey, Toblin, um, are the rooms still paid for? Well, are, are still paid because I think we paid for like a couple days last time. Um, you guys paid for two days. Uh, so uh, it was covered for yesterday. Would we'll cover until today. So it was. So we have to pay today. So, uh. Yeah. If if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. sure. I'll, uh. How How's much? The nice, nice. It has, it has improved since the uh, first time we came here. Yeah, oh, that's. Thanks, thanks. That's, that's all because of me. I gave him tricks with the beer. Cause I'm a dwarf. I know my beer. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, actually, so I helped a lot. So much, yes. Uh, uh, so it is. Uh, I don't remember what we said. I think it's like uh, one electron. Did you say like two golds for everyone? I think two gold. Was it? Yeah, I think it was two goals for uh, for meals and meals, meals and uh, yeah. for everyone. Okay. So it's a gold D. I'll pay for. So it's tonight and tomorrow at least. Okay. Wait, no, I just added two gold. <laughs> he just paid me. But if you give two goals, that pay everyone. Like yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, like I said, it's a uh, it's on me tonight. I'm paying the rooms, okay. meals for today and tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boop. Two gold. Um, well, guys, that's it. as as we eat, uh, guys, um, what's next? What do we do next? Well. I don't remember if we have to go to the to this house full of goblins. I don't know if we have to go there. You mean the what you're referring to is probably the Crack Maw Castle that exactly. we heard of. And Black Spire, I think that's where he is. I don't remember why we have to go. That's the problem. My memory is a little because, blurry. 
Glastaff was supposed to be there with us. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I suppose we don't have to go anymore. <laughs> Do we? Because if you think about it... Okay, I'll, I'll recap. We okay. went into the manor to get Glastaff. He escaped. He came back with more of them. Well, with goblinoids. Um, but what if he never goes back to the Kragmar castle? They're Ooh. probably gonna send someone or something to do like, what happened to Black Glastaff? So right now, there are like, without a leader? No, they still have a black spire. Oh. You, you just like, uh, Helia said yesterday. With black spire. I believe. Okay, I remember, I remember. I believe we had a note. Yeah. That was written from. Where are yeah, yeah. notes? Your black spider. Oh, it's black spiders. Yeah, it's not black spire. Spider. My bad. Well, we can finish to train these guys tomorrow, and then we can Any gather map? our stuff and go and search this guy. I think th they going to try to attack again the town. They are trying to have the control of this town, so... Any map? Do we have a map? No. Not not that map. A we map. Have a map. We don't have a map. Huh? You guys got a map. Huh? We have... No, we, we have, have a map of, of the world. The, the, the world war we are in but as as i get the note out because okay wait uh yeah because the note says that there would be people coming to fendelin and deliver any maps to me with haste we were never giving a map i guess it's the the dwarves the rock seeker Oh, you're right. I'm continuing you. Mm -hmm. They could be working for the dog. War, war. How do you say that? Dwarves. Dwarves. The rock seekers. Dwarves. Dwarves. Okay. <clears throat> you know, uh, my kind. When we're a couple of us, you have one dwarf, but when we're a couple, they, 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 it's that like many dwarves. I understand that concept. Thank you, Simon. Thank You're you. welcome. Just gotta keep educating those elves. Jesus, you never change. <laughs> so. Just as a, a reminder, um, Yes. You. So Sildar was traveling with the Rock Seekers. Well, Durden. Yes. And they got attacked by goblins. Yes. And uh, the. Um, so they would they, have they lost, the map. Yeah. They lost the map at uh... that point. So the map could be seen. Last time, have, so we never registered. Well, at this point, it would, it probably, uh, it's probably the black spider that has it. Yeah. Okay, so we have to get back that maps. Yeah. Well. And that that's one thing. The other thing was uh, Harbin that had a poster about orcs. Yeah. That are north. We can go for the orcs. But right now I don't think that's a problem. 
Nah, it's not an immediate threat. Okay. But it could become one. Yeah. So I hope these people uh, be ready. Because it could be one day the orcs come here. And we can't go to the castle first. You know, that is a little bit more concern. Mm. I think. Yeah. Although everything, everything we have to do is north. Exactly. In theory. Do we have a war? Uh, uh, uh? Could. The orc be in the same place as. Uh, oh, look a map! <laughs> is the map? Is the map? I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Um. Oh. <laughs> from. Actually, I don't know. Uh. What I know is that the why the, the orcs come from the north from Wyvern Thorn. Don't ask me where Wyvern Thorn is. <laughs> where is Wyvern Thorn? I don't know. Where is Wyvern Thorn? <laughs> do do we know where <laughs> Wyvern Thorn is? Or if I inquire to Toblin, would he know where? Wyvern Torn is. Uh, also, I think Coppers knows the way to the Krakma Fortress. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I think Coppers that is the... in the in the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. we keep him. That's why <laughs> we keep him. And tomorrow, yeah, initially, and, and tomorrow, uh, Tamara is gonna make a survival training with him. So. He's gonna be a forest expert by the end of the day. Of the day. I hope so. And possibly richer. <laughs> uh, so about Wyvern Thorn. Do we know where Wyvern Thorn is? Uh, we we had the maps. Go to Cunnyberry, no? Yes, he, he pulled it out on uh, roll twenty. That's our map. That's our map. Another. Maybe we we can ask to Toblin, I think. I don't know. Can I uh, roll a can I history check? A uh, geography check. Yeah, yeah roll a history check. It just, where can am you I... search into? <laughs> where am I dying? Because my note don't tell me where... Does it? Oh my! <laughs> no, I don't know where it is. Absolutely no idea. I don't. I never heard of Wyvern Thorn. Uh, history means uh, four. It's a. I rolled a four. I have no idea. Mm, thought so. I have no idea. It's just something the necromancer said. But <laughs> I'm going to call Tolling. Like, hey, Toblin. Uh, he, he's currently like uh, talking with other clients, but uh, he sees you. So like about like two, three minutes after he comes to the table. Yes. How can I help? Uh, we have some question for you. We don't know where is uh this town that calls Wimberton. Wyvern Torn. Why it's not a turn? it's not a town it's more like a place that place yeah is. no it's not a, it's not a town it's uh yeah well i wouldn't be the the best uh to give you direction i've heard of it it's like uh some form of crevasse between two mountains it used to be the nest of wy wyverns uh they're probably all dead by now but uh, there's forts and stuff that still 
realms are those places, you don't want to go there. And do you know where the place are? I, I don't, but uh, there's rumors. I, I think Harbin uh, wanted to get someone to clear some orcs. Um, so I, I guess your best chance would be to uh, go and inquire with him. That's pretty much how I can um, help you with, unfortunately. Thank you, Toto. That That's perfect. Having direction to someone who might have directions, it's already better than what, than what I knew. <laughs> right. Well, glad I could help. And Hi. he makes his way back. Well, I just finished my meal and I go. You go where? Is there any of our training? I think. Is there any of our training in uh, the tavern tonight? The inn. Is there what? Any of our training? Is there any uh, any any men that train today in the tavern? Um. Make your perception check. Wow! I'm great at those. Wait, at least you don't have a minus one. Perception. Uh -huh. I got Any a perception. nine for ten. Uh, looking around? No, not really. Nah. They must be exhausted. Uh, same uh, goes for me. Finish my drink and I'll head and to bed. Point. Yeah. At this point, it's like maybe uh, like it's still early. It's like uh, okay. Four thirty, five <gasps> in the afternoon. Oh, okay. I was th I was thinking that it was uh, really late, like uh, yeah, me the too. End of the day. No, we we called it early for no, the. No, it's not late. Like. Uh... Yeah. And you oh get, no. You guys went for. Uh, for supper, um, but I mean, it was early supper. You can still just yeah, yeah. It was early supper, but you oh, guys started okay. your day early, and your next day is still gonna be early. So uh, I wouldn't ju judge you if you go to bed earlier. But yeah, it's, it's no. very early. Right now. Okay, then I'll sip on my beer, enjoy it, because it has improved. And then I'm gonna like maybe stall for uh, an hour, an hour and a half, and call it early. Right. I, w I I want to search so, the, yeah, you, the, you the person who have the information to the to the orcs. I would have been Orbin. 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 Yeah. So you guys want you make you want to make your way to the town master. Someone want to go with me? I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'll go too. Since Fern is going to bed early. What a... What a Goliath, this one. I mean... <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm right. going to... So you, make, uh, you make your way to the Townmaster. Uh, enters. Uh, Sildar is still there. Uh, he's doing... I don't know paperwork at his desk and the day. Uh, Arben is there too. He, when you guys enter, uh, he looks at is Fern there or is only Sema? Only Sema. So he, he turns uh, at Sema. Hey, guys. I'm happy to see you. Wanted to talk about uh, talk to you about something. What? Hey. Yes. So, um, would you guys be able to help for, uh, the execution? I don't know. All right. <laughs> well, I, I think, I think we're missing the one that, um, 
would know more about that or would be willing to. Well, I mean, you don't have here in the town some, I don't know, some person executioner who do that kind of things. Yeah. Well, think about it. <laughs> they you, you think we you think we get execute we execute people uh, often enough to have someone that's it <laughs> it's his job? Nah, we don't have. It, it's gonna be our first. Okay, so why you decide to condemn her to death? <laughs> well, that's. That's the sentence for treason. You, you know that, right? Ooh. Yeah, you yeah, guys, sure. it was you, your idea to stand trial for treason. Okay, he's right. <laughs> yeah. And like, Alia is currently in the cell, like right next. <laughs> She's just looking at you guys. She's like, she has no will at this point she's like broken broken and if we said like oh we decide to pardon his life and we going just to kick her from the town and mm. she cannot going back it's, it's gonna be tricky already have all the paperwork done you mean like an exile instead of yeah, yeah well I hate that girl but I don't want to see him here dead mm. I don't know it's gonna be tricky it's gonna be tricky to change a, sen a sentence that already was pronounced. Yeah, I think we should have established that before the trial. That we were trialing her? No, judging her for banishment, not execution. And what if we make a fake execution? No, you're just lying to people. But, but yeah, then you go and stand trial <laughs> for treason. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, I don't know. What do you want us to do? Do you have a preferred method? I don't care at that point. I just want the sentence to be done. You want a bloody execution? <laughs> That's not... Or not so painful execution. Do you want it public or you want it uh, private? I mean, I don't think we have a choice. I, it doesn't have to be public, but I mean, we kind of have to, or at least, like, we don't have to force everyone to go. But it should be done at the known date. And uh, mm. in somewhere that like if people wants to go, they can. I guess. How I about mean, go in going to easy and clean, so I mean, hanging is pretty easy. We're going to hang you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you hear like, Alia, like, you guys are talking about killing me. Like, it's nothing right next to me. I'm trying to do <laughs> something just, different, like, but... I'm just like sobbing. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Well. Well, she's a bitch. Uh. <laughs> um, can, uh, Arben, can we come back tomorrow? And we'll, we'll come back with, uh, Fern. Since he's the one who kind of, uh, talked about it right after the trial. Yeah, he's right now oh. like this second sheriff. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that into your hands. I'll just take care of the, um, uh, not the paperwork, but take care of the, uh, organization and setting a date making it public setting a place you guys can figure out the rest okay all right well yep you're going to say that something can, um well if you want to do it like uh public but not like in the town square so not everyone even the children sees it may i suggest maybe the uh, somewhere at the old manor there's probably places around there that you could do the execution not inside but like on the outskirt of it yeah it's already spooky so that will work you have a point Okay, but we don't came for that. We 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 came here for ask you uh, a question. We need to know where is this place called Waverton? You mean Wyvern Thorn? That Wyvern. <laughs> God, it's hard to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm starting also to. <clears throat> Yeah. Um. Oh, you guys saw the, the poster. Yes. yes. Uh. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys want to know? Oh, it's Warren Tor. Oh. Even I'm the. I, I'm not saying it right. Wait, let me change my. Wyvern Tor. Wyvern uh. Tor. But I thought it was Thorn, but no, it's Tor. I'm so we, we want to know what it is because we have a, a map and we don't see this this uh, area in the map. Oh, oh! if you have a map, that that's going to make it a lot easier. Um, yeah, I, I took it from Fern since uh, we were coming here. Because normally Fern has the has the map, so I borrowed it. So we have it. So you do have it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I borrowed it. Yeah, hmm? <laughs> obviously. All right, I have so the bone too. You take out the map, like put it on the desk, uh, wrap it around. Um, so Arben is gonna point to somewhere. On the map. Somewhere. E Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's where Wyvern Tor is. Oh. <laughs> there. Wait, what is north? <laughs> That's okay. bullshit. That's not north at all. Or it's kind of in. Well. Why do I have orcs? Problem comes from the north. That's what Koss said. Means it's north in the uh, east. Cost cost is a liar. <laughs> so it was south of where it was. Okay. Uh Wyvern. Okay. Is he in a mountain? In the mountain? Sorry? Wyvern Thorn. Well, like I said, it, it's kind of a, a crevasse in... Um, oh, okay. South of... 
so the, there's like mountains on both sides and it's kind Ooh. of like a walkway in the middle. Oh, okay, it's, okay. Uh, east. Okay. Of Ice Pyre. Fucking fire again. Peak. <laughs> Ice Pyre Peak. Well, it's uh, one, two, three, four, eight, nine. That was like a little thing. Two days of travel again. Nine. It's for forty miles away, ish. Through the mountains. For yeah, through the mountains. So we can forget the cart. Cart is not. Oh, we're going to climb. Okay. Let's go on a hike. Um. Kick, 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 kick. Okay. And uh, um, yeah. copper, copper, come here. Where, where would you say is? Where are the other Kragma? Do you know the re Do you know how to read a map, uh, Copper? Uh, you know what? A map. That. Map. Okay. <laughs> what you want? We what you want, just... Copper? Good boy, Copper. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Did a good job. Yeah. Give a copper. Flick him a copper. <laughs> it's fine. It's not my money. Huh? Goblins, goblins, rich and a runa. Yep. Yeah. But what is he going to do with all that copper? I'm pretty sure he's gonna die at some point, so we're all gonna <laughs> take it back. So it's fine. <laughs> Probably escort and cocaine. What? <laughs> right, right. He's gonna become a drug dealer. Yeah, that, that's a whole other campaign. Woo! <laughs> oh no. <sighs> okay. Thank you very much for the uh, information. And we're going. We're going to decide later. What are we going to do with Kragma? Kragma? With Kragma? Heli, Heli, Helia. She. Don't worry too much. Okay. So, come mm -hmm. on, guys. It costs money to feed her. Okay. Okay, we're going to see. Or, uh, Harbin! If you wanna, we can leave Copper or whatever for a night. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be so cruel. I mean, it would be gross to clean up in the morning. Oh, no. All right. You're, Jesus you're Christ. weird one. Have, have a great evening on those thoughts. Don't don't dream about it. I, I, I don't know at this point. <laughs> yeah, you know, you have a difficult sense of humor. You know, you're you're a difficult oh, sense okay. of humor. That, that. <laughs> that that was a joke, right? Ha 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 ha. Or okay, bye bye. It was a joke, or was it? <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> okay. So we going back. We still don't know where uh, the Kragma Fortress would be, but it's fine. And that is we can, that. We, we can we can use copper like a I don't know like a because I'm call that? guide like a GPS. Yeah, <laughs> we put it in front and he just kind of he's a guides. humming pigeon. You let him loose and you try to follow him. Exactly like that. We just have to put a long leash to him. Nah. And throw him copper. Yeah. Him yeah, up. but at that point, he's just gonna follow where the copper drops. And if you have a long leash, he's just gonna get tied up to a tree. Like, well, you, you know, we're going if to you put a dog him. around a, a tree, he just get 
He circles around and he gets stuck. Well, we can just say to him, like, you want more copper, so leave us Go. to the to the place. That a copper a day leads the way. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, cover it and leave the day. Cool. Semat 2021. So, okay, so if we think about it, Warventor is east of Fendelin, and as I remember, <laughs> the Kragma Fortress is northeast. But, like, even probably between Fendelin and Conybury, yeah. In the how's the never winter woods? That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. But can't be yeah, sure about much. that. It's just by what I remember. But that is going to be difficult because we have to enter to the woods. Yeah. And I think yeah. the, the 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 forest could be a difficult place to stay longer. Mm. So yeah. Copper is just like, we go north now. North. He knows where where it is. North. Yeah, I guess we can uh, we can go in two days. Wait, no, I'm not now. here. We're going north. No, nah, no, nah, just don't don't be impatient, Copper. We're going soon. Copper. Yep. That, that throw will have to wait. Yeah. I think we're gonna call it so, a day. Alright. So you guys uh, get back to the inn, uh, spend a bit more time just talking, drinking a bit, and then uh, get to bed knowing you have an early morning again tomorrow. So you guys, it's a lot more quiet in the inn today. Um, people are either recovering from their night yesterday or uh, their the day. day. <laughs> um, so you, you find sleep pretty quickly, and you guys are sleeping also. Um, and I think it's a good place to end tonight's episode. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna start next week with finishing the training and then whatever you guys want to do next. I nope. don't want to kill the lady. <laughs> Second day of training and a beheading. Nice. I hate her, but I don't want to see her dead. It's oh, fine. Okay. I, I got a plan for Fern. Okay. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> you trust me? <laughs> You just said you don't want to kill her. Maybe don't trust him. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Hmm. You know, I have a spell that is called True Strike, which gives me advantage on an attack roll. It seems like a perfect <laughs> spell to behead someone. So you're going to... <laughs> like... And that's it. It's a guillotine, people. Whoop. Oh... Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> you do. Such a such a nice conflict to see <laughs> with the character. <laughs> you brought that, like you wanted her to be like guilty so much, but then. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not trying to make it better. I'm just saying that it's very uh, funny to see. <laughs> The conflict, the conflict for the moral conflict is like I hate <laughs> her, but no, it's <laughs> not fair. But yeah, we're going to see what happens. Yep. Thank you, guys. Good. That was fun. Yeah, I really like these sessions. And I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah for the wizard. Uh, we should try to find. We abandoned one uh, somewhere on the Tribor Trail. 
There's one that was abandoned on the Tribor Trail. A wizard? So yep, there's a wizard. To... There's a wizard lost in the wilds that could be recovered at some point. There is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, you're saying it, Mary's character? Yeah, precisely. Yeah, there could be. But nice. we just need to find someone to play it. That's that's the challenge. <laughs> I cannot play three characters at a time. It, no. No. Two you is try. Even, hard. Even two is. Yeah. I could try, I but so. I'm just making RP. I'm not fighting that much. So casting spells and fighting at the same time, I think it would be a bit much. But did you say that Mary wants to play? I've tried. I've asked already a couple times, but uh, uh, she okay. doesn't. Sadly. Well, we're going to find our our lost uh, player. Lost wizard. One day. Who is playing here? What? My uh, mother and my father. Yes. Uh, don't remember their that. character though. Yeah. Are they? Are those characters still a thing? <laughs> the, the, what are I don't, what, what, I don't think their character are in D and D. We played no, five. We were for life, so. I have the sheep. Yeah. Sheep's work. Your parents was your parents were playing? DMD? On on our first session when we started, we all did it uh, at my house. Oh. And uh, so that's why Mary and both their parents were playing. Are uh, they? Were they both playing? Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. And um, yeah. we had a uh, human fighter. What's his name? Carrot Dwarf. Another human fighter. The rogue. And the wizard. And if you want, I, I can play in French. That is the concern. <laughs> That that's not the only concern. Is internet connection is also the concern. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the okay. first time we played, we played uh, instead of doing a board game, we bought this and we decided to play. All of us had never played before. Oh, that's so cool. We were all the indie virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went all all nerd out. Oh, but that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's this is cool. the first time. <laughs> well, yeah, it wasn't the best. Like, yeah, we're still figuring out a lot of stuff, but um, it was still interesting. Cool. Well, maybe one day. It was fun <laughs> enough to still be doing it. Uh, yeah, to, how long is it ago? Almost. We started this summer. So it's been a couple of months. We're like at the sort of 20, 21st episode ish. Because the first two were are, are not registered, so and at least uh, each week, so yeah, two weeks. No, there's been a gap. Oh yeah, I guess it's probably gonna be a year soon. No. Oh. Ish. And we're not done yet. I, <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna take more than a year to do. <laughs> That's it. It's a little longer. I thought we could get one session. Yeah, just like the one shot of uh, Christmas. It was a Too one long. one one fifth shot. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Yep. Well, well, guys, thank you very much. See you uh, next week. See you next week, ex co worker. And to go. Yeah. <laughs> what? Ex co worker. Ex co worker. Ex co worker. Because <laughs> I bailed out. <laughs> yeah. And he's happy now. Yep. So, yeah. You Bye, guys. <laughs> you say that like he was not bad. No. Oh, well. Bye, guys. See you next week. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night.